Hi there guys, another video from me. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few more videos, a few more videos, a few more miniatures. Uh, I hope you're not getting bored with me showing these miniatures. Um, just wanna get out there, my style of painting and what I like to paint. And hopefully you, you like what you see too. Um, and obviously in the comment boxes, just if you wanna give me some hints, tips or whatever, just, just uh, comment away, you know. Good, bad comments, whatever you want to do, you know, it's up to you. Uh, it's going to show you a few models here. I've been working on obviously the uh, Dark Angel or the Dark Vengeance box set. Uh, and I've turned my sights to the Chaos side now. Um, started with, oh, I'll, start, I'll put this in front of you so you can see. Started with the Chosen. Uh, I don't want to start with occultists everyone says yeah they're boring to paint and whatever but I'll, I'll do these first and then so, let's see if i can get through all 20 cultists and not get bored just after one uh yeah so here is the leader of the chaos side is he called cranon i've painted him up nagel um yeah i painted tyrus and i think you've all seen that in the other video so i thought well why not just do an ergle army so and I've just realised actually now looking I haven't painted this for some reason but I'll go back and paint that obviously you need to base them I'm just going to base everything uh, together so yeah just switch them around so you can see the cape so there's that a few more little touch ups and I'll be happy with it but uh, there's that one there Um. I've actually based this one. I must yeah, base this one just to see if I like how this basin is. A little desert base, I know it's a bit grey, but yeah, happy with how these miniatures come out. Very quick and easy to do actually, Nurgle. Uh looks effective if done right as well. A lot of dry brushing and I like the effects on these. Like I said before, happy accidents, that's what I call it. Go mental and with the brush and see what happens. Uh, yeah, another cloak's like supposed to look like skin. I hope that comes across well on the uh, on the camera. Bit more to do on the uh, the weapon. I don't know what the weapon is. It just looks like a staff to me, like a some type of staff. But yeah, I'm very happy. Different type of skin, obviously with Nurgle. Supposed to look dead and rotten and whatever. I hope that looks pretty good. So there's that one. Uh, and then we have this one. I like this model a lot, actually. Um, I don't know what you call them. I know it's lightning claws. If it's a space marine, is it? I don't know if it's different. If it's a chaos, chaos miniature. Let's call it lightning claws. Uh, yeah. And I got some nylac oxide, and I put it in the vent there, just as like a glow effect. I think that looks alright. I might. If I'm adventurous enough, make them 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 vents the glow. I'm gonna see if I can make it come down, so it's like shining off off the uh, miniature. So yeah, like fleshy shoulder pads. So there's that. There's that, one. and then I'll show these two together because they are twins. I don't know what Games Workshop are doing, have they just got lazy and can't decide like, oh we'll make two minches the same and let's just, whatever, I know that it's only Dark Vengeance and whatever, start a box set or whatever, but surely Games Workshop you can come up with another miniature instead of two the same, I know obviously the backpacks are different, but, you know. So there's them. Again, quite happy again with all they've come out. A few more little details just to fill in, but yeah, all in all, very happy. So there's them too. Um, and uh, I will show you this miniature now. This is completely different. So it's Ark Warboss, old metal miniature that I had. Stripped it, painted it up. Um, 
As a banner, obviously that's snapped off, but I don't think it really makes a difference. Uh, I don't know if this is going to make me want to buy a box set of Orcs, because I don't know if I've got the patience just to sit there and paint 20 Orc boys one after the other, because like, I'm not a batch painter, I like to paint models, like paint one model, finish that, do the next one. And with Orcs, obviously you get a lot in them, but saying that though, yeah, a hell of a lot of fun to paint. Really good fun. Um, yeah, so this is this model. Very, you know, you can go crazy with it. Having said that, I know for I'm, I just know I'm going to end up buying them. So, but there's that. Hey, I might be with how this little dude at the top's turned out as well. Is it a squig? A squ little squig or something? That's pretty cool. There's that one. Yeah, I paint really quick. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it, I think if I take my time, it could come out a hell of a lot better. This is this mini alone took me about thirty minutes max. That's including basin and whatever. I don't know if that is that good. I don't know. Um. And then I have this one. Uh, this one was really just an exercise to do with the skin. Uh, yeah. To me, it looks like Sean Connery. I don't know what you guys think, but yeah. Uh, I know you're going to say drill the barrel barrels out. I'll do that. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah. Very happy with how the skin's turned out, like you said. Very, I think it looks realistic, you know. Very proud of it. Yeah, painting up was Death Watch. I've got the other four upstairs. I wanted to, I bought them when I was going to do uh, doing for my Ultramarines. Oops, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. But uh, decided to do Death Watch. So I'm going to have to get the other four and strip them because of the sprayed painted in the crank blue. I can't be bothered spraying over because I know I'll lose the detail. So if I just screw them, they'll come off. That'll be all right. Yeah. So there's that one. And this model isn't painted at all. But uh, what I'm going to ask you is, is I've had this model for years and years. Basically, I was going to, as you can see, it's battered. There's a. Uh, sorry about the shaky camera, guys. There is loads of stuff on it that has been scratched off. Your shoulder pad is battered up. So I'm gonna file it all off, make it all nice and smooth, and then I'm just gonna paint it and see if I can put it into my bad company. You know the models you saw on the uh, other video where he's got a pink, pink shoulder pad and the other one's got an orange one and they're all linked together, but they all look different, if you know what I mean. So if you can come up with a, a colour scheme, I don't want it to be any existing chapter, just pick a colour scheme, write it in the comments box and I'll see if I can paint it up to the best of my ability, you know. And I'll actually try and spend more than half an hour painting. Uh, and let's just see what I can come up with, yeah. So yeah, I'm coming up in nine minutes on this video, that's a, a long time, but I uh, just want to say thanks to everyone who's liked, yeah, I'll put this back in front so you've got something to look at again, uh, who's liked, uh, not many of you, well no one's commented besides from uh, Warboss Tay, uh, thank you very much for commenting on one of my videos, it means a lot, you know, they say you're not supposed to uh, meet or talk to your idols, but uh, it hasn't gone bad, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so again, people just like, rate, subscribe if you if you would. It means a lot. Um, I'm literally just putting these videos out as in, like, when I can. I don't have a set time because I work long hours. I work in a warehouse, so I do 12 hours a day. Eight at a push. Well, sorry, I do eight hours, 12 at a push, sorry. And 
time with pains is really hard and I'm getting married in May so even less time really so I've got to sort all that out so yeah thanks guys just like to like rate subscribe comment bad comments good comments all welcome uh, pushing on 10 minutes here so I'm just gonna uh, stop the video now all right cheers guys bye